ladies and gentlemen. Every Friday morning on Uganda. Defeat and sweep away Konye out of Teso in order to have people return to their villages and live in peace. The president was last. So, Sandra, would you like to have a drink with me after work tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of busy this week. 80.2 Sanyo FM, we're still rocking you with only the biggest uh, jams, uh, power jamming you throughout. Right. This is the KT Classic with Uganda Lotto. Chemical and biological weapons capability. Mukaga, top radio machine, diche damu nyak, nyakato nyeze mukaga, pena muye, edo nunga chivichi kuna toma. 2020, all 3466. I want to wish you the best of mornings. It's a Tuesday morning on your friendliest station, Power FM 104.1. How it's going, looks like it's sunny out there and looks like it's going to be a wonderful day. And a Power FM way, you can call me up on 342020, place your request for anything you'd like to listen to. They are calling me Mama Joyce for many reasons because Mama Joyce means mommy. And once you, um, well, if you have a mommy, then you know a mommy is a person who cares for her children, isn't it? I'm sure that's what it is like. So they regard me as a member of their family. I think it is a pleasure to me to be, if they can call me Mama. we didn't have a car. Nothing in the house except a basin and the jelly cow. Pathetic story. See what you see. Mm. Mm. 
She was running this small kiosk or sort of eating place, but now she's bedridden. There's somebody who's doing it for her right now. Sister Jeva, I This is where we screen examine for STDs. The project is like a family here. Not only addresses commercial sex, but I take in the entire family. The children, the sisters. When they have a problem, they come here. Isn't that one too speedy? Are you contented with that? That, that one is okay. Now you are, you take your time, okay? F feel majestic on the stage, okay? DJ, put it in trap number nine. The positive body from Mugale, Bao, Mukole, Mukole, Mugale, Bursty, Nanya, Kuba, Nakusum, and Bere, Bursty, and Bella was Kiba, Dakuba, the food, and the Mursity, when you look at my job, when you are his Kiba in Pamiti, when you are so, and when you are the People usually don't talk openly about sex. Um, do you think that it has kind of contributed to HIV in Uganda? There are some culture culture factors, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for example, issues related to marriages, you know, wife inheritance, circumcision, you know, all those relate to sexuality and uh, and uh, HIV AIDS. But some of uh, so some of the people, you know, don't talk about these issues. They don't talk about the reality. So um, my view would be that if we are to talk about sex, let's talk about sex and sexuality openly on radio, TV, in schools. Um, peer education and sex education should be done right away from primary. Actually, yeah. Henry, you are so right. We need to fight HIV. It's my job. It's your job. It's our job. Everybody out there should actually fight HIV in any way that they can. And you're right about everything that you've said. According to the latest statistics, at least about Uganda, you find that at least every household has a radio. So now we've realized, us, the people who are communicating about HIV, have realized that radio is one of the best media to use. Good afternoon, you're listening to Radio Simba. I am 
Nigeria and Hido to people who died. It's straight talk. Straight talk on the radio. Yep, it's the STD special. It's hard to find a family that hasn't lost anyone. Not just in Uganda, in Africa. People have lost cousins, parents, sisters, brothers, neighbors, friends, name it. And I bet every family in Uganda has definitely lost somebody to HIV. Um, an aunt, an uncle, however distant people have lost. That's why HIV is so real here. Because we've ha we have seen people dying of HIV for a long time. <laughs> Bazenga <laughs> well, we took the streets of Kenya and Uganda. This is the Ridge and Mall. This is the official Big Brother Africa party site within Kampala. Come with us, let's find out what the patrons here this evening think about Big Brother Africa. Naitano is so wonderful. Naitano is performing pretty good. I like him naked. He's the only one who shows that he's an adult. He knows how to kiss. Yes. He's a true Ugandan. Naitano. It's straight to TikTok. Straight talk on the radio. Yep. Right here in the studio with me is Henry Hudson Luyombia. Henry is a 23-year-old boy, and he has dedicated his life to HIV AIDS support and prevention work. Um, Henry, most people, when they go for HIV testing, they do it as a joke because they suspect that they cannot be positive. Take us back to when you actually decided to go for an HIV test. What prompted you to go for an HIV test? And after, just take us back through the whole process. What happened? Yeah, thank you. Um, it wasn't easy, uh, but... Uh, okay, it was in 2001. I just went to a small clinic. It's in Kawempe Division. But um, what prompted me to take a test? I wasn't forced. Um, just because I'd had some relationship, some girls. Um, I, was, I was still in school, early secondary school. And uh, I, obviously I was expecting uh, a negative result and all that was came out, you know, I was positive. I didn't believe. I didn't break down but he said now what he tried to say, you know, maybe that, that is it, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't do anything and and I felt, you know, maybe she commit suicide and whom should I tell? I have many friends. Then like I was saying maybe I'm going to lose all these friends and, you know, how about my mom? I, I, I went through many, many things.
all of a sudden I just came back to my mind that, you know, I'm, the, I'm this way, you know. I just kept quiet. I took some time without telling anyone. I just kept it to myself. But I was, I was continuing with the normal, normal life. I felt I was not alone. Not any Ugandan, not any family in Uganda hasn't been affected by AIDS. Yes. So with that one at the back of my mind, I said, you know, I think I need to face the reality, you know, that's it. Once in a while, I talk to my friends at the university, tell them prevention, condom education and distribution, you know, talk to the community members on how to care, how to live positively, how to support people living with HIV, and then to care for those ones infected. And then prevention. So that is how, you know, I'm trying to live on. Mobilization awareness, you know. Call a few colleagues, you know, work together, draw a plan together. Everybody out there should actually fight HIV in any way that they can. And you're right about everything that you've said. We, every institution should come together in the fight against HIV. Let's talk about it every day on all the media, radio, television, newspapers. It works and it helps. Surely. All teachers and head teachers, you are required to disseminate HIV AIDS messages at least once every two weeks on school assemblies. Gaetano, hello. Uh, here is a hello. message. Hello, Africa, tell me how you're doing. <laughs> Don't sing it. Okay. Hi, Gaetano. Here's a message from your brother. I've been away for a while. Things have changed a little bit. And Kinsey has moved into your room, and I'm writing everything you used to write. Check this out. Gaetano is older than me, so he's my elder brother. I am younger than him by quite a number of years, actually. I'm 24, he's 31. Big gap. But the thing is that, um... Mm. <laughs> and then... I did, I did not have time to lecture him that Gaetano, if you do go into the house and you do have sex, always use a condom. I, 
I didn't, I couldn't even start thinking, you know, what the house would be like, who he would meet. The stigma is from sex. The place where we are dying with the whole HIV pandemic is from the whole sexual part of it. You know what? Are you going to abstain from sex for how long? How long? Sex is also. You abstain, you abstain, you abstain. You don't meet somebody you want to marry. Abstinence is not sex. It's not sex before marriage. It's not like you abstain for the rest of your life. Wait, are you not listen? You don't marry. You understand? And you marry and you find out that that person that you don't marry has AIDS. No, but what, why don't so you? No, it's the same with same sex. What are you doing? I want to go now. I want to make a little I'm going to go to the project. 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 I'm going to go to the because we don't have somebody full time here. Uh, Valida is usually in place to be seen all the time. So you send her to go and buy the eggs, to go and buy milk, to make tea for visitors. Because they are idle. She's idle. She doesn't have anything to do. And once we keep her busy here, and it also helps her to cut down on the sex trade and all that. The city won't in eight months go for a media. Sylvia, we're riding a mzaita nafa, and those are like you know, for a media. It'll be a media or cuss. You're not a cat, you have a job from Songa Zava side, you have a tobacco and a busy witch. Auntie, I've said every single of us at the value of Palakira. So we are to all any other to cover some. Oklava and Afina could a magazine give them Sadida, Mom Sajawa, Kumao Jad. Nam Siva no Musi, Kumasila Kutia. Auntie Diva Dagala. Dagala, <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Your sister comes from where I was working in some time back. Your sister? Yes, sis. Morning, man. Sister, yes. Yeah. Morning, man. Did I say? Yeah? I'm going to be Ah! Sister Jason, you know? Yeah, but I'm going to say. Hey, is it nice? Yeah. You will not help. Salvation is the key, the way how to cure AIDS. Thank you very much. Mama said, Musabi <laughs> ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。ちゃんにのってかと。
Tusonyiwe kawa 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 kawa. Inazi na usayi uwa muendo muji. Kwa manye ili mitima jafu mkama. Tuloza ze mgambe vizibu mkama. Tuangaliza batu wala kutuma uvi. Tuangaliza batu wala kutuma ele vizibu. Kawa 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 kutuwe gaide. Wali kato na tunura muda mnitima. Wala we tuloza ze mkama. Hawa mutu tindenyo mkama ange. Wala ino kuwela kukwa kumpiti ngana wana wumusimu no. Lato wekse chingi. Bana kuma wawa na bafo kuwela nga bebasabiliza. Bana kuma wawa na bafo kuwela mkama nga beba house garo. Bana kuma mkama nga wana bafo kuwela mbutale. Tato wekse chingi mkama. Tuangala wa doktor mbana wafe. Tuangala mkama nga wa somesa. Tuangala wa fute nyonyi mbana wafe. Um, daddy died in 1990. Um, December 1st. Our mom, you know, tried to keep us all together. Telling us that, you know, there's a lot of stigma, you know, but daddy has died of AIDS, but we really need to work together. People were not aware of the basic facts about AIDS, and uh, they used to pinpoint on us that, you know, maybe your daddy is, ha is having AIDS, then also you, you must be having AIDS. That uh, just pushed us to, to our mother, you know, trying to ask mother now, well, what should we do, you know? People are trying to stigmatize us, because she had trained as a counselor, she was just trying to give us those skills that, you know, learn to live, you know, the hard way. Accept the reality, if daddy died of AIDS, you know, it is the truth. But, you know, keep on telling those people that they may not be knowing their self-status as they're trying to pinpoint at you. Announcement. 
to leave the Big Brother Africa house is. I've lost many dear ones to HIV AIDS. You've lost many. So how do you feel about this? I've lost uh, quite a number of people because of HIV AIDS. And uh, it's difficult uh, to describe the pain one has uh, when you lose, lose dear one. HIV AIDS is one of the greatest wars facing humanity in the world. It is a war against humanity, and that is how we should fight it. I had never imagined in, in my whole life that I would meet uh, the world's greatest, actually is the world's greatest leader. I know, I yeah, know. Yeah, and um, it was very, very exciting. It was a program for four young people. But first to meet Nelson Mandela is Henry. Henry is campaigning against the spread of HIV and AIDS in Uganda, but is facing testing conditions that make his work extremely difficult. I think it was a great program uh, because it has helped us, some of us, you know, we're still living on, you know, not to give up, much as the hardships, but to continue and uh, seek for other means, you know, seek for other means, togetherness. He was emphasizing togetherness. People are still dying. Many people are still contracting the disease. Don't you at one time feel frustrated about this whole situation in your struggle? If people are dying, you must be affected. If uh, 
you identify yourself with your people. You can't just uh, remain unaffected. We were affected, and that is why uh, we decided to launch the struggle and to help our people. <laughs> I believe, I think uh, Africa needs Arabs now. Now should be the time. So um, what I'm trying to tell the government and other NGOs, you know, you should talk to the donors, talk to these companies, you know, continue putting them on pressure you know, so that these uh, drugs can go down. In, uh, in the Western countries, people no longer die of, die of AIDS, you know, because these Arabs you know, are there, you know. I'm not saying they don't die, but, you know, they have a long lifespan, you know. These Arabs uh, improve the quality and the quantity of someone's life. But we don't have them here. 
kuchi asuro na kuruwa niro Okubanga ajakutani saunza nyo na Cristiano Ronaldo de Alviero Gorbele wa mzala ya Portugo Gwea gula wakata kwa nukuna munana Wamune kleba sinfonga Onono gwea 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 I've lost my brother, the one who's younger than me. I've lost my sister, my eight sister. I've lost uh, a dear cousin of mine, my sister's daughter. And I've lost young ones. My brother died and the wife died. The two wives he had, they also died. And I was left with the children to look after. This one, it brings back memories of my daughters, my daughter. Okay, but people keep on. This brings memories of my daughter, as you can see. There was one time when she was very heavy, like here. She looked very heavy, we had gone out. This is when we went out for a meal. So sometimes it, breaks, it brings tears and I don't actually, I can't say. Ah, it was a very painful loss because I had a lot of trust in her. I knew that she would be my insurance when I become old because our tradition here feels that once you educated a child, you are investing into that child. That child is like an insurance that in my newer old age, that child or that child will take care. And this is what other people have in mind, but the tables have turned. The insurance that we were, everybody was looking at is no longer there because now it is the children, the educated, who are dying. You're not alone. You're not alone. Um, you're not the only one having HIV. There are many more people suffering, you know. That's very true, Henry. And um, what was the most important message to you that Nelson Mandela gave you when you met him? Um, he told me not to lose hope, not to give up. Mm -hmm. He told me, um, Henry, in your work, you shouldn't uh, work alone. Involve your other friends, you know. So it is togetherness, united efforts. You can defeat any problem. And you can, Henry. Surely. You definitely can. Yeah. And with HIV AIDS, I'm sure, it is a combined efforts. We need to, to combine efforts so that we defeat AIDS. AIDS is not a, a, a personal problem. It's a community problem. And we need to fight together. In your uh, regime, in the, in, the, in the apartheid regime, how did you overcome such sense of hopelessness to stand firm and fight for the rights? black people well, in South Africa. You mustn't concentrate on an individual like myself and think that uh, I'm, uh, I've got special courage. There is no single individual who can liberate a country. You can only liberate a country if you act, you, you act as a collective, as a team. That's an important lesson that I was with a team of people, courageous men and women, who inspired me and others. If they were not there, I don't think we would have succeeded. It was not me succeeding, it was the community succeeding. So you must organize your community in your village, in your country is very important. And to say, don't lose hope, fight back. There are many men and women uh, who have had terminal diseases but who fought back and won.
Beattie. Andy Cole has scored for Blackburn Rovers. It's now 4-1 against Wolves. Six minutes past the hour. Time to check the rest of the international headlines. In a nationwide television... Ad <laughs> Cherise Makabale from Zambia is the winner of Big Brother Africa. The result was announced on Sunday. The reality TV show grouped together contestants in a house from which, one by one, they were evicted. <laughs> and George W. Bush told the American people that Iraq is now the front line in the global war against terrorism. Our strategy in Iraq will require new resources. I will soon submit to Congress a request for $87 billion. The request will cover ongoing military and intelligence operations in Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere, which we expect will cost $66 billion over the next year. This budget request will also support our commitment to helping the Iraqi and Afghan people.